The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, has promised to support the creative industry with the necessary incentives if elected president in the 2023 general elections. Atiku, who made a commitment in Lagos during a roundtable discussion with stakeholders in the Nigerian creative, cultural and innovative industry, said the industry has what it takes to reduce unemployment rates and generate huge revenue for the country with necessary support. Among other good plans for the sector, Atiku said he will create an enabling environment for the players in the industry by providing proper fundings, training and capacity development. We have it on record that you are the second largest producer of movies as well. In all aspects of your industry, is either you are first or you are second. Me inclusive, because I have a radio station, I have a television station. Of course, the first government to set aside any amount of money for the advancement, development and advancement of this industry is the PDP government. Yes, we have or you had challenges assessing, you know, the funding. What we need to do is increase the funding, liberalize the funding process, make it easier. I totally reject direct CBN intervention. We have various agencies of government, either as banks, or agencies of government that are responsible for all this. We should be able to make it easier to assess these funds through those agencies. Some of the speakers at the discussion panel, which include top entertainment entrepreneur Ayo Animashaun, award-winning director Kenneth Giang, is creative director Papa Omotayo, talent manager and music executive Efe Omorugwe, media entrepreneur Agatha Amata, among others, expressed their challenges and pains to the PDP presidential candidate. The important part of this is the aspect of storytelling and ownership of who we are and how we tell and explain and introduce who we are. The event was held spellbound by Timmy Dakolo with the performance of his song Great Nation and a short documentary about Atiku Abubakar's growth also got everybody captivated. After the program, Superscreen finds out from Atiku his reaction to the demand of the integrity group on their readiness for dialogue. But we have been dialoguing. We don't have to make public the progress we are making, but we are making progress. We have been dialoguing. As it stands, expectations are high that the PDP presidential candidate will do all he can to reconcile those aggrieved in his party to achieve unity of purpose that will translate to victory.